In the quaint town of Maryville, there stood a school that echoed with giggles and chuckles all day long, the School of Laughter. Run by the ever-smiling Mr. Chuckles, this was a place where the curriculum consisted of puns, jokes, and hearty laughter. One sunny morning, a new student named Timmy timidly stepped through the gates. Timmy, a boy who rarely cracked a smile, found the constant laughter around him both bewildering and overwhelming. Mr. Chuckles, with his curly moustache and a laugh that sounded like a joyful trumpet, took it upon himself to introduce Timmy to the world of laughter. He guided Timmy to his first class, Joke Crafting 101, where students were busy crafting jokes about chickens crossing roads and elephants in refrigerators. Timmy felt out of place among his peers, whose laughter filled the air like melodious music. Next was The Science of Giggles, where Mrs. Snort, the teacher, explained how laughter could light up the darkest of days. Timmy, intrigued, started to loosen up, his eyebrows raising in curiosity for the first time. In history of comedy, Timmy heard tales of legendary comedians who had the power to make entire nations laugh. He imagined himself as a knight in the army of humour, battling gloom with giggles. But the real transformation happened during lunchtime. As Timmy sat alone with his sandwich, a group of students approached him. They started a game called the Giggle Challenge, where each person had to make a funny face. When it was Timmy's turn, he hesitated, but then, inspired by everything he had seen, he twisted his face into the silliest expression. The group burst into laughter, and for the first time, a genuine smile spread across Timmy's face. Timmy began to realize that laughter wasn't just about the sound, it was about feeling light-hearted and spreading joy. He started participating eagerly in class, his jokes getting better by the day. He even volunteered to be the clown in the school play, where his comical antics had everyone in stitches. At the gala of giggles, held before the end of the school year, Timmy captivated the audience with jokes he had penned by himself, winning over the crowd with uproarious laughter. As Tim gazed upon the sea of smiling faces, he felt an immense warmth in his heart. After that day, Timmy was called Maryville's Master of Mirth. He learned how laughter brings joy to everyone, including himself. The School of Laughter stayed a happy place, teaching everyone that a good laugh can make things better.